Okay, so we're going to cover the positions of the linear throws that we're going to be doing here today. And the linear throws, again, are divided into chest throws and overhead throws. The first position that we're going to work with with athletes is going to be tall kneeling. So uh, this is what tall kneeling is going to look like. And we're going to move on. I'm going to show exactly how I'll coach this uh, coming up. But we're going to see all of the specific positions here first. So Christian, if you wouldn't mind just standing up from here, uh, because we're going to show the standing throw, mm -hmm. and then we're going to show some from some of the squat position throws. So the next throw would simply be a linear throw coming from a standing position. All right. After we do throws that are going to be straight up standing, I'm going to have Christian go into a semi squat position. So if you just right there, and we're going to cover exactly what I'm looking for. I'm going to coach this position. But the next group of throws are going to be coming from this smaller squat position. The next one would be a progression to squatting much lower. Perfect. So this is where it progresses to. And Christian, if you don't mind standing back up. After we do that, because these are all static positions first, we would then progress him into dynamically moving into these squat positions. So that would be simply, he's going to drop slightly down, and while he's dropping, he's throwing, or he's going to be dropping all the way down, and he's going to be throwing while he's dropping down. Okay, so we just finished covering the different positions that we're going to go through with bilateral symmetrical linear throws. Now I want to coach Christian through two different kinds of throws. I want to coach him through tall kneeling, and I want to coach him through semi-squat. These are, these are big rock ones, and if people understand these two, then they're going to understand a lot of other throws. So with this throw in particular, uh, what I'm looking for is I want the athlete to be able to find and feel hamstrings and find and feel abs. So Christian, I want you to push your knees down into the pad to try to get yourself as tall as you possibly can. Okay? And what I'm going to be looking for here as well is I want to see that his head can stay right here. I'm looking for the middle of his head to be right in line with the middle of his carpet floor, and he's doing a great job of that right now. So, Kristen, while you're in this tall position, you're pushing your knees down, do you feel your hamstrings firing? Okay. And, and that's a pretty common thing, where people just feel this right away. Now, I'm going to have you reach the ball forward towards the wall and exhale. I'll put my hand right in front of people's heads to make sure that their heads don't travel forward. Now, when you reach that ball forward like that, do you feel your abs kick in? Great. That's all I'm looking for. Go ahead and throw the ball. Perfect. Same thing. Push the knees down. Get tall. Feel your hamstrings. Reach forward and push your back back. You feel your hamstrings and your abs? Perfect. Throw the ball. Okay. So we're going to move on, and we're going to go to the semi-squat position. So have you stand up, we'll move this pad out of the way. And as we're doing this, I want you to squat, but I want you to squat like this. Rather than sticking the butt back and feeling the chest go forward, I want you to simply square the weight up on your heels first. Think about having the middle of your heels be the center of your mass. Okay? But stand up. We're not even squatting up. Okay? Just find and feel those heels right in there. Now, what you're going to do, and you can watch me on this, is we're going to drop the weight straight down while my knees reach forward. You see how my butt doesn't go backwards? That's what we're looking for here. Just drop the weight straight down and reach the knees forward. Can you feel your hamstrings when you do that? Yes. Perfect. Keep these hamstrings, and I want you to exhale, reach the ball forward, and feel your back push back into it. Do you feel your abs? Beautiful. Go ahead and throw the ball. Now what I want is a little bit more posterior tilt here. Perfect. Belt line to belly button. You feel much more hamstrings? Beautiful. You got abs from your reach and your exhale? Throw the ball. Great job. And relax. So that's... All right, so what I want to cover here first is just with seeing Christian do his semi-squat position, chest throw with the med ball, what I was noticing was that his knees were, or his, his femurs are abducting quite a bit, 
and he's really not getting as much posterior tilt as what I'd like to see from his pelvis. So if I see an athlete doing that, I'm gonna make a couple of quick corrections. And the first thing is I'm gonna give him a ball between, to squeeze between the legs so that he starts adducting rather than just letting the femurs abduct away. So go ahead, put the ball right above the knees so that you can feel it, all right? And keeping it there, I'm gonna have you just turn and face the wall. So with him standing up, and I want you to stand up so that your head is right over the middle of your pelvic floor, nice and natural, get tall through your heels, okay? Yeah, you can kind of feel my hand behind you. I want you to not lose my head, my hand with your head. So with these heels as the emphasis, I want you to just drop your weight straight down through the heels as the knees reach forward towards the wall. That's as deep as I need you to go, okay? Now I want you to actively try to bring your belt line to your belly button. Perfect, great job. Now, do you feel your hamstrings a lot more with that? Yes. Great. So, with kind of keeping me here, okay, and you can just tilt your head back a little bit and look up a little bit. Right there is perfect. Go ahead and reach forward with both hands and exhale. Now, do you feel your abs and your hamstrings significantly more than before? Yes. Great. So, that's what I'm looking for here primarily, and he's in a great position. Stay there. I'm going to give you the ball. And go ahead and throw the ball. Go ahead and reach forward, exhale, feel those muscles, throw the ball. Great, relax. All right, so we have been able to show you the chest throws from a bilateral symmetrical position. Now it's just time to demonstrate the overhead throws. Now the chest throws and the overhead throws, we're gonna work these from the same stances, the same positions, the same progressions, going from static to dynamic, going from kneeling to standing, static, standing to squatting, okay? But I just want to demonstrate here the way that we're going to find and feel hamstrings, find and feel abs, and control a pelvis and a rib cage while we go into uh, humeral excursions, in this particular case with flexion. So Christian, go ahead and push your knees down into the ground. Get as tall as you possibly can for me, okay? You got your hamstrings going? Excellent. Keep those hamstrings going and reach the ball for the wall. We start this exactly the same way. Exhale and feel your back go back into my fingers here. I push on you, you push on me. You got your abs? Perfect. Keep those abs. On your next exhale, you're going to bring the arms over the head. Still got your abs? Great, perfect. Okay, throw the ball. Now what you're probably seeing here is Christian is not, you know, tremendous with his flexion and being able to go into an overhead position. That's fine. Uh, I want him to go as far as he possibly can while he maintains a pelvis and a rib cage. I'm not going to try to force him into ranges that he doesn't have, okay? I'll work with him now. On your next exhale, reach overhead. Try to visually track the ball with your eyes as you go overhead. Exhale, overhead. Watch the ball, watch the ball, watch the ball. Reach for the ceiling, reach for the ceiling. Feel the triceps work. Inhale, feel it go into your back. Exhale, throw the ball. That's a lot of power right there. Great work.